what's up guys welcome back to the channel i'm niku your host and today we have part three of our um video where we make um this amazing project page from an amazing uh digital agency web website called malbach and into today's video we'll mainly focus on this parallax effect applied to the image uh, with the help of our cursor um yeah so let's go and let's build this and let's be let's create something awesome today so coming uh, back to our code where we left um what we're gonna need is we will need two functions uh mostly to trigger when we hover the text and when we leave hovering the text yeah so if we go to our project we have this setup and if um the user uh, interacts with one of the items in the list we will uh, display where we will hide or basically we toggle the the image as uh, in the Malbox example so here we'll need to work uh, firstly we'll need to work with opacity and uh, for the next tutorials we'll work with rotation and on scale but to keep it simple today is just for parallax effect and yeah so uh, this title component uh, uh, to remember it just renders a, an h1 and this title component will need to receive um, two functions one is for handle uh, mouse enter enter and handle mouse leave and we will pass them to this container so handle mouse enter it's handle mouse enter and handle mouse leave is handle mouse leave let's save and that's it for this component so far next we'll go to the project item component and we need to create these um, two functions here so const um, handle mouse enter it's a arrow function and const handle mouse leave as well as an arrow function and if we pass them to the this component and the mouse enter and the mouse leave mouse leave yeah let's let's uh go and console log something here so we know for sure that this function works so uh here and let's duplicate here too yeah so let's save Let's open the console log. Let's refresh maybe. Ah. We hover, nothing happens. A few moments later. A small mistake here on handle on mouse enter and on mouse if. And let's open the console log. Yeah, so here exit here and there great um let's go back to the index project here so here we'll need um to create some values in the state uh we'll use the use um reducer because we'll have multiple states for um the image so I would want them to be some kind um, consistent and to stay in one place and don't have to not have so many use states in this function so we'll create here a const state dispatch yeah use a reducer oops reducer and use reducer uh, requires two function to two parameters so use reducer and an initial initial uh state yeah so for our initial state let's create it here const any initial state so what 
we would need is uh, an opacity. The opacity is zero. Uh, and some coordinates of our uh, mouse. So parallax position, which is an X and a Y. And let's place the, the Y position to be minus 20 to have a nice effect on the image is initially displayed. Uh, and for the reducer function, reducer, what we are gonna get here is, uh, I'm not sure if you are familiar with Redux, but what this reducer gets is uh, the current state and some uh, action, yeah. Um, and then we kind of have to switch through action type. What I am going to call them is case change um, opacity and case change coordinate coordinate and we need a default case here default throw new error and this reducer is a base for our upcoming videos here we'll have different types of actions um, and we'll work from here uh, more um, next here we we have to update the current state so we destructor the current state and we update the opacity in the state with a payload yeah so we pass to the, this reducer a type and a payload and for the parallax coordinate um, oh here is a turn a turn object like this and here we also do the same but instead of the opacity we say para para parallax position which is the action dot payload great we have our small reducer we have the state and we are ready now to work and to update the state so first what I'm gonna do is to set the opacity so when the uh, mouse enters we wanna see the image dispatch the dispatch and here we will uh, place uh, an object which is a type so we know that we have if we want to change the opacity we call this action here so let's copy and paste and let's move here and pass the payload as one. Let's duplicate this and let's move it to the mouse leaf and change it to zero. So let's let's go and delete this, delete this. And yeah, cool. Um, now also what we are gonna do is to update the, the parallax. We will attach an event listener to this uh, container. So for this, we will need here, we'll need a reference, a const list item, use ref, and now let's see if we imported. Yeah, we, we didn't, imp haven't imported use reducer. Uh, reducer, uh, let's pass the, the reference here, so ref, is the item and one we will uh, have here two, two things yeah so one we handle we end mouse enter we need to attach a mouse move event to it this uh, container and when we leave the title we will uh, remove the event listener pretty simple so list item current dot add um, event listener and here is a mouse move and then we will call a function Let, let's call this function parallax yeah for now it's empty nothing is done here and let's call it here 
parallel. Let's copy this and move it down here. And instead of add event listener, we will remove remove event listener. And we stop here. And next, what we're gonna do is we will create this parallax function. So this parallax function will return the event from the the uh, mouse move event, yeah. And here we will get the uh, position or the y and x position of the uh, mouse. And with these um, uh, coordinates, we can uh, create new smaller coordinates. So when the mouse moves, we, we will create this um, interesting parallax event. So for example, const x is, is equal to a window. We take the inner width and we subtract the event page um, x yeah and const y is window uh, inner inner height and minus event page y now let's see what we get console console log x y let's uh, refresh oh we usually have some 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 errors. Uh, so here is because it's an object and it should be clear. Yeah. So we see that if we hover, we get some some uh, value. So we get the x and the y value um, on the screen, but these values are kind of big. Yeah. So we kind of need to to divide them by by some delta. And I believe a 100 is more than enough. It's, yeah, so we we get these values. But also what we want to do is to multiply the event page X and page Y to some um, to a speed. So we could get the, the smooth transition between um, values. So we multiply this by a speed. Um, times speed. And let's create this const speed is minus five. So let's remove the console log. And now one, what is left is uh, to update this the, the uh, coordinates so dispatch and type which is mouse mouse or change mouse so it's a mouse mouse coordinate yeah so here's a mouse coordinates and we pass the payload as an object x and y we need to pass the the coordinates and the opacity to the image here. Let's go inside the image and prepare all the, the place for um, all the uh, effects. So these uh, components uh, will uh, receive opacity and uh, parallax position. Yeah, and here. Uh, we will pass inline style width so opacity is opacity and transform um, translate 3d which uh, will get the x as parallax pose dot x pixels and the y um, as parallax pose dot y and for the z we'll just pass the z zero pixels let's save and back we need to pass these values to the component so opacity is state dot opacity 
and the parallax position is state.parallax position. We need to go to the home to the project item um, SSS and we need to remove the opacity. Yeah, so we have the opacity, but nothing changes to the to the um, so there, there, there is a mistake for sure here. Translate 3D. A few moments later. Oh, so here we need to pause the pixels. Yeah. Yeah. So we we have it. We have it. Yeah. I believe we, if we go back to the style uh, and we put here a transition, transform one second cubic busier uh, let's see this one yeah and if we go back we should be able to see a nicer yeah smoother um, transition between after the image is hovered it kind of not going to the initial state so to fix this uh, when the mouse leaves Let's move this up and we need to pass here an initial state to the image. So mouse coordinates, coordinates and the payload will be uh, initial state dot parallax position. We save, we go back. Yeah, so the image goes back to it, its original position. I'm pretty happy with the um, with what we got so far. That's it for part three of this uh, project. I am really glad you got here. And if you hear this, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and write it down below. How do you think about um, these videos?